What's up everyone, my name is Alex Cost and today we are going over probably my favorite subject, hairstyle. 2019 is here and you want to start the year off right, which means it's time for a fresh cut. Now, should you keep the same style or maybe you want to change it up for the new year? Either way, trust me, we're going to make sure that you know which style fits you best because I have a list of some sick hairstyles and I'm positive that you're going to find at least one that you're going to love. I'm also doing a giveaway on my Instagram, which is at Alex Costa. I'm giving away products to make sure that you can pull off any of these hairstyles that I'm listing today. So we're giving away Moroccan oil texture clay and argan oil, giving away Blumon original original cavalier clay and a few other products which will definitely help you start their year off right my instagram is at alex costa and all you have to do to enter is follow me and leave a comment in one of my latest pictures all right i'm gonna post some pics of my hairstyle there as well so if you like my hairstyle then you're gonna be able to see it uh, screenshot the picture bring it to your barber make his life a lot easier and i'm gonna announce the winner a week from today on my Instagram, all right? Let's do this. The first hairstyle that we're gonna go over is the curly undercut. For my dudes out there with the curls, don't worry, I got you, all right? 2019 is your time to shine. I've seen so many of these out in the wild here and I'm digging it, you know, it looks really great. There are so many different ways to pull off this look which makes it very versatile. It keeps it fresh and interesting so you're not gonna get bored of how you look. And you can have any type of fade with this cut but it's usually done with a low skin fade. Now, your hair should also be falling down kind of like on your forehead a little bit. Give that distinct stylish look. Plus, we know that girls dig curls, so roll them up, and as long as you got a nice fade on the sides, this will definitely make it a fresh cut and look in 2019. Hairstyle number two, the messy long hair. Now, if you've been thinking about letting your hair grow, this might be the right time. If you've never done it before, I recommend you try it at least once in your life. You know when you see someone that cut their really long hair and now has short hair, and you're like blown away by how different they look? Well, it works both ways, you know what I mean? Sometimes change is good. You really don't know how you're gonna look until you try it, all right? And I personally let my hair grow at least a few times. Long hair is obviously always trending. I see guys wearing this like all my life, really, right? But this year, more than usual. And I think it's because Jason Momoa is rocking this look in Aquaman. I mean, this hairstyle is definitely trending right now. I don't know if you've seen Aquaman yet, but his hair, looks fire in that movie, all right? It's the perfect time to let your mane grow. I'd also recommend making it a little bit messy though. The trend is more like this and less like that. So um, I would add some waves, give it some personality and make it look awesome. And of course, if you're gonna have long hair, it needs to be healthy, all right? And the argan oil that I'm giving away on my Instagram is a lifesaver if you're growing your hair out. Next up, we have the Killmonger haircut. And if you're wondering what the Killmonger cut is, then you probably haven't seen Black Panther yet. I'm disappointed. You should have seen it. And I feel like this video is now becoming more of a superhero movie review. This is called The Killmonger because Michael B. Jordan rocks this look as Killmonger in Black Panther. And honestly, it's just like a, a modern locks look where you let the top grow until you can get locks and then you get a nice skin fade on the sides. You can tie them up, you can leave them out, put them to one side or another. It looks great either way. Michael B. Jordan looked dope in that movie and pulled it off very nicely. Uh, it definitely gave the haircut a ton of hype. And I actually have a video with his personal trainer, Corey Kaye, who showed me exactly how he got Michael to look so damn good in his latest movies like Black Panther and Creed 2. And if you haven't seen that video yet, you're missing out, man. I'm gonna leave it linked in the description below. Like, this guy is a genius. You definitely, if you're trying to get in shape, if you're trying to be healthy for 2019, you definitely want to watch this video. Now, a very stylish and still really popular haircut for 2019 is the textured quiff, which has to be one of the dopest cuts for the year, right? The classic quiff, it's cool too, but this one just gives more of a cool vibe, like modern, edgy. And one of the best things about this cut is that you can actually have multiple hairstyles with this haircut. You can kind of just like swipe it to the side. You can do a slick back look. Uh, you can do a short pompadour or of course, the classic quiff. And you can go either short or medium length for this one, which makes it easy because you don't have to wait until your hair grows. It's more low maintenance, which is always a plus because now you can wake up a few minutes later and not have to worry about, you know, spending too much time getting your hair to look perfect. Another hairstyle for this year is the swept back side part. Now, this is a great hairstyle for a guy who wants to look good with minimal effort. It's such a classic look, you can't go wrong with this. And I think it's like usually the first haircut that a guy gets when he starts to care a little bit more about himself and wants to look good. I feel like every single one of my guy friends 
like they've had this cut at, at one point or another. Uh, it's definitely just a crowd pleaser, right? Everyone likes it. It's great for college, for work, for weddings, but also really good in, in a more casual setting. You can definitely pull off different fades and different lengths on the side here with this cut, but keep in mind though, I have noticed, and I think you, you guys have too, that skin fades are slowing down in popularity. Specifically, high fades are being replaced with low fades or even like scissor cut sides for a fuller look, right? So this looks a little bit fuller because it gives more of that gentleman vibe which i think is trendy right now the next hairstyle we're gonna go over is the box braids now travis scott you guys know him he's killing it his latest album is crazy good and sicko mode was not only one of my favorite songs but the big one of the biggest hits in 2018 so it only makes sense that his hairstyle is becoming more and more popular this is a really popular hairstyle here in la i see a lot of guys rocking this the only thing that kind of sucks is that you gotta let your hair grow a little bit for this one but when it's long enough then you can play around with it and honestly this this is definitely one of the hottest haircuts out right now. So if you're, think, if you're thinking about it, I would jump on it. You know, I'd recommend getting a hairstylist who's really experienced in doing this. You wanna make sure that everything is perfectly balanced and you don't wanna make them too tight because that could actually damage your scalp because it would pull your scalp back. Also, a really cool variation of this box braid is the ASAP Rocky hairstyle. Still rocking the braids, but he likes to tie them together in a bun here in the back, which adds even more character and style and changes things up a little bit. Next up, I couldn't leave this out course the buzz cut you know it couldn't be missing from this list the buzz cut is just such a classic hairstyle very masculine and if you think you have the right face for it and trust me you need the right face for this then give it a try you know you should rock it i've had a buzz cut before you know a few years ago when i went to military school and i was dreading it at first but i got used to it and i actually kept it after military school as well so i don't know i liked it I had a little uh, bit of a notch, like an iPhone 10 notch on my forehead, as you can see, but I thought it still looked pretty good, all right? Plus, there's no styling, there's no hair dryer, no products, no maintenance, except a little refresh with the buzzer now and then, you know, I mean, it doesn't get any easier than that. Next on the list, all right, the textured fringe with a low taper. This is a really cool style for guys with curly or wavy hair. I know a lot of you are asking for, asking me for styles that were more suitable for your hair type, so here you are, guys. The cool thing about this one is that you can texture the hair on top a bunch of different ways. Whatever fits you, whatever looks good for you. You know, some people have a symmetrical fringe or you can do like a messy fringe that looks pretty dope too. I think that looks even better nowadays. And on the sides here, guys, honestly it doesn't matter it's entirely up to you again which makes this haircut really cool because you can get a low skin fade if that's what you're into you can get a high skin fade if that's really what you like or you can leave even let it grow a little bit longer on the sides kind of like i have it here or even longer if you want for that gentleman vibe what you have to think about is just your face shape you know what is your face shape and what do you think will make it better once you decide on the length for the sides then you just get a picture of that online bring it to your barber and now you got a fresh new cut for 2019 guys make sure to enter the giveaway all right it's going to be listed in the description here just go to my instagram follow me comment on my latest pictures and i'm gonna pick a winner a week from today well that's it favorite hairstyles 2019 a new year is here that was kind of fast so 29 was 2018 good for you guys i want to know leave a comment down below first of all i want to know which one of these is your favorite hairstyles two was your 2018 good or not <laughs> i know that's kind of a weird question but I, I would love to know and then three if you're new here subscribe become part of the youtube family i'd love to have you here uh, we're 1.5 million subscribers at the time. So trying to get to 2 million, you know, that's one of my goals for uh, 2019. So help me out, become part of the family. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Peace.